What up guys, welcome back to my channel and I am really excited because today I'm starting a brand new video series reviewing Nerf guns. I'm really excited to be doing this. It's something I've been thinking about for many, many months. And just a brief history on me before I get into the review. I grew up with Nerf guns, uh, 90s kid here, uh, represent. So, you know, there's something about the Nerf gun, uh, being a little boy, cops and robbers, um, army men, that whole scene. So uh, really excited to be doing this. And the Nerf guns of today are not the Nerf guns of yesteryear. And I think that's one of the, the main reasons why I wanted to start talking about them and reviewing them is because they're so in depth and in such great detail and have so many amazing things. I mean, look at this gun. Look at this thing. I mean, if I had this when I was a kid, I would just be going crazy. And well, I am still going crazy because I've never grown up. I'm a kid at heart, of course, like most of us. So I wanted to bring out Nerf gun reviews and just throw them in there every once in a while. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the Nerf Elite Retaliator. Now, Nerf has released an entire Elite series of guns. They've been around for quite some time now. Uh, I have a few of them myself, but this will be the first gun I review. I think this is a quite in-depth uh, weapon of choice if you're gonna go out there, and it has multiple uses. Uh, when you take one look at this thing, you just know that you're in for some serious action, and I love it. So this is the Nerf Elite Retaliator, and what's great about it is you can customize it in many, many different ways. And the gun really does break down in three or four different configurations. So let's first of all talk about uh, the gun itself. The Retaliator can be used in many different ways on the battlefield whether you're doing just single shot, um, even somewhat of a sniper situation. Uh, and you know, even if you're just running around and you need some sort of assault rifle and then even a pistol kind of sidearm type thing, I'll explain it. But basically the Retaliator is set up to be somewhat of an assault rifle. Um, it is a single cock and shoot uh, gun here. The cocking is up top here. Whoop, there that goes. But basically what you have here is you have the muzzle which can be taken off and I have, I've modified mine a little bit because I'll talk about, it's a little loose and I'll talk about that in a minute. But you can take off that. You can also take off the stock here, which is really nice. And then it almost becomes just a sidearm, <laughs> which, is, which is really neat. And if you need something with um, some power behind it and you, you don't really need the assault rifle setup, you can roll this, which is really nice. It has two upper rails and it does have a lower rail here for attachments. And of course it does come with the under grip here, which can be put on and attached like so, which is really nice. And you know, once you get into you know the actual firing position of the gun, uh, it is really nice on there. I will say that it is a little flimsy um, for my liking, but it's still nice that it's there and attaches really nice and doesn't really come off all that easy. Uh, in combat situations, that's really nice. Um, I do have the, the Nerf 
Uh, this is basically is a video camera attachment, which Nerf does sell a video camera. I do own it. It's not very good quality. The field of vision is very, very uh, low. It's zoomed in quite a bit and it doesn't really look all that good. The video is pretty grainy on that camera, so I'm not using it, but I have modified this to attach to my camera so that I can come up here, attach the camera, and then you are set to go if you want to get some first person action on there, which I will show a little bit later, which is really nice. So um, the gun does come with a, a 12 round clip, um, which in most situations will be plenty for you, unless you want to do other things like go into a hardcore battle, which then you can also get the 18 round magazine here which then makes it really become uh, quite a contender out there in the field to have 18 rounds. Uh, a lot of the guns don't carry that. So anything with a clip, you can roll out with this. And then it really becomes something to be reckoned with. I mean, you can really have some serious battles with this. You can use it right-handed or left-handed, which is great. Uh, it's got the clip release mechanism on both sides. So that's good for uh, both of our right-handers and left-handers there. Um, it does have one sight that you can raise or lower right there on the top. Uh, it does have the um, anti-jam mechanism up here, trap door, which is nice in case that you do have a jam, you can clear that up there. It does show on the back when it is cocked and loaded, it has this little half circle back here that does turn red to show you that it is locked and loaded and ready to go. Now, I was a little confused when I first <laughs> And I always, I joke about it. I'm like, man, the, the Nerf guns, they're smarter than me now, which is really funny because I was trying to load this clip in here when I first got it and I wasn't able to do it. I was like, man, why doesn't this clip, why doesn't it go in? It won't go in. Uh, and why can't I get the clip out once I loaded it? You have to, just like a, you know, a real gun, I mean, you have to be in this position. You have to cock it back. That opens up the chamber here for this to go in. Then it will go in freely. And then once that's in, now it's ready to be fired. Now you can't take the clip out. The mechanism will not release. You have to cock it back, then release, and then it comes out freely. I love that. <laughs> because anyone knows when you're playing with these guns, you like to have the most action with the guns. Now, is that you know very conducive to when you're in battle? Yes, it is, because if you're firing, and you're running around doing that sort of thing, and you you know you can't fire it now. It's in the, in the back position until you put the clip in and cock it forward. Then you're ready to fire. So that is really really cool. I like that a whole bunch. Uh, the stock is really nice. It actually has this really cool angle here to where it doesn't get in the way of your hand and wrist. You know, it, it fits really nice. The stock isn't super long, but you know, for for a kid to, you know, a teenager and even adult, it fits right. It feels really good on there. So I like that a whole bunch. Um, now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the, you know, the, the pros and cons of the gun. And let's first start by saying, I think this is one of the, I mean, this is one of the guns you can customize the most. It does come with the stock and it does come with the grip. So that is nice to have. This is additional. Uh, these clips are additional. I also have the six round magazine here to show that you can, you can put that in there. If you're doing just short runs and you really don't need a lot of firepower or bullets there, that is a great way to just have a little a six round mag in there. I really like this gun, I really do. I think uh, there's definitely some issues with it, but overall it is a, a great feeling, a great handling gun, I like it a lot and it's, it's pretty accurate for what it is. Uh, and to customize it in so many different ways, that's really fantastic. So it's very versatile. Some of the negatives that I don't like about it is um, it's really flimsy up here. First of all, the grip's really flimsy. The barrels was pretty flimsy on there. I didn't really like that. So what I've done and what I recommend everyone do if you have this gun is I just put some um, felt in there. I cut some felt, put that around there. It's basically the other side of Velcro. It's the soft felty side of Velcro. I stuck that right on there and that cleaned it up quite a bit. It doesn't look all that nice, but it doesn't matter when it's attached. You can't see it. Now it does make it a lot tighter 
to get on there, and that's that's totally fine. That's what I want. But when it's on there, I mean, that's that's solid. I mean, you can see even the grip itself is a little loose, more loose than the the barrel. But that's fantastic. So that's kind of um, not necessarily a mod, but a fix that I'd recommend everyone do there. I guess the only other negative I would say is that it's kind of a slow gun. Uh, if you're in a firefight and you need fast shooting, it's not really conducive to fire quickly. Um, you you know, it's a cock and shoot, a single cock and shoot uh, assault rifle. So you fire, you have to cock, put your hand back on the grip or underneath on the, the, the muzzle if you got it there. And I mean, you can just blast away like that. But in order to get, you know, your full accuracy, if you're just wanting to lay down cover fire or something, that works great. But if you really are, are in battle and you're, you know, moving through some sort of situation, a building or whatnot, and you really need that uh, grip there, don't plan on firing fast. It's just really not going to happen. So that right there, that is the Nerf Elite Retaliator. Overall, a fantastic assault rifle. I love it a whole bunch. I think it's something that... Again, you can modify it completely. To even come down to just to be a sidearm like this. And hey, you know, if you want to get crazy, you absolutely can. How about that, huh? Look at that. Is that deadly or what? Walk into battle with that, it's over. All right, let's go outside and see how far this thing shoots. All right, guys, so we came out here to this park. I got 100 feet laid down right in front of us here. We're gonna do a shooting test here to see how far the bullets travel out of the retaliator. We have about five mile an hour winds out of the north, northwest roughly. So that probably will alter the shots a little bit here and there. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and for this test, I'm gonna upgrade to my amazing 18 round magazine. Let's do it. All right, let's go see how far they went. First round laying in here at 34 feet. It's not bad. Right around here, they start to fall into place. 42 feet. Whole bunch of them laying right in here, 45 to 48 feet. 55 feet here. And the final, oh no, we got two out there. This one landing right in at 60 and a half feet. And right here, it looks like it's lined straight up with 63, about 63 feet right there. Not bad for the little retaliator out here with some wind. You can probably hear it coming right at us. So that's really not bad at all. Overall, this is a fantastic little gun when you put the 18 round clip in there. You really have some firepower to dell out there so um, hope you guys have liked the video please feel free to subscribe if you like it and uh, let me know what you think bringing some nerf guns to you have a good day guys see ya